Hello and welcome back to Killing All the Pirates, kind of. Uh, that's the way we are doing it. I think that's what would have ended up happening anyway. Also, it didn't seem like uh, we had any meaningful interactions with any of the pirates. After that, they just kind of found me out by, you know, murdering them. But, hey. But it was not avoidable. So, there are two places that didn't check. At least two places, actually. Uh, command. Deadlight Dungeon. And uh, the underwater ducks. Or uh, not, or some kind of... I don't know. Not, um, not that. But some kind of special ducks, private ducks. Where... Maybe we're gonna get our ship. It's called the Drake. It would be nice to get a new ship. That's what I was missing. Like, it, it makes sense, I suppose, in a way. When you kill merchants, you don't get all their stuff. But when you kill people, you actually get uh, quite a lot of stuff uh, they used. Oh, look at that. You got some brass balls to be waltzing in here after the alarm's blared. Yeah, I can't place your face. Don't worry about that. Well, you wouldn't be the first I've pissed off and forgotten. <laughs> I killed everybody in here. It happens, I guess. Uh, a good knock up the side of your head ought to jog your memory. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've certainly not come seeking to exact re revenge against you. Oh, swell then. And I surely believe that. Not at all. Ah, right. You're that sloop captain what got caught in the storms. I take it you did a number on my crew. They're all dead. Figures. I should have stayed to kill you myself. Looks like I'll have to remedy that now. What you hope to accomplish coming around here? Killing every pirate, taking a lot of booty, taking your ship, my ship, Drake. You do realize we're standing in the most well-guarded spot in all the deadlight. I made it this far with that challenge. Well, aren't you so very skilled and brave? I suppose I ought to begrudge you my respect now. He cocks his head to the side. Is that what you thought I'd say? You can fight me if you like. But you won't be leaving this fort alive. Shut up and think for a minute. You want someone like me on your side? Furante scheming to take you out? Your, un your unchecked behavior is a risk to Principi continued prosperity? Lunch for his throat. Come on, we're killing him anyway. Fire and thunder! We'll be fighting to the death now. Spearing you with a mad grin, he draws his pistol. Maybe... Maybe take it more seriously. Apparently this is a tough fight. So we wait for them to come in. A little bit. Bambit, you coming? Any time now. Just kidding, we're gonna go in. These are... Oh. That wasn't as hard as, uh... Advertised. These guys are not any tougher than the previous ones. Even Bambit suck. Hmm. Drop me bloody, Bambit's dead. Who the hell are you? Quick, like, tell the others. Who the hell are you guys? You basically killed everybody. Sure. I'm gonna be the pirate captain now. Death motion, recovery time, and more reflex. Sure. What's their problem? Not happening. Quick like, tell the others. I don't think I can pull that up. 
Leave it. I don't be supposing we kid. Grand sleep? Drawing upon reserves of intense spiritual power, barbarians are able to leap high into the air and crash down upon their foes, dazing them. Okay. Who are these guys who are like, oh yeah, Bamford is dead! We can finally man up! And they just went down to the court? I don't know where they are. Are they here? Oh. Are we gonna see more guys now? I don't know. Hey, Buccaneer. Can I just take their stuff? Sure. Mm, yeah. They're taking their stuff. Command underground dogs. Did you guys try to murder me? Let's check out the underground dogs. That's the only place we didn't check out yet. And I will be very disappointed if he can't steal a pirate ship. Seriously, why can't I steal ships? I, I think I'm taking down a galleon at this point, or some big ship, and I couldn't take it. I, I can't take any ship that I take. That would make sense. Gunpowder barrel, doesn't matter. Oh, we leveled up? Party gained. Seek we managed to find the secret dock. The cargo hold lies empty. Yeah. Is this the Drake? I know. I kind of like the Defiant. It's a cool little ship, but it's a little ship. We need something uh, that's sturdier. If we where to keep fighting guys I already checked out the dungeons so some guys were pretty happy that uh, I killed Bemvet and I was pretty happy about it uh, myself I'm pretty sure that I already checked out everything porch storage Outer stores, there's nothing here. So, it's time to go to the courtyard. Ah, Cookie's the... Uh, <laughs> Cookie Mania is gonna be the only person left alive in this uh, uh, fort. <laughs> Great. Oh, also some pirates that didn't attack me, right? They were covering in fear. Also, Minal. He... Wait. Still got it. That's stealing. We need to lock pick and steal. Easy breezy. Ten slate. Not too bad. Oh, look at that. Come on, swashbucklers. Die. Come on, buccaneer. You're not with us. Alright, so... I think we kinda did it all. Wait a second, we can't get out? Huh. 
How do we get out? I can't get out? What if I open the ship menu? No, no, that's not what I want. Ship menu? Okay, that's not how you do it. Map menu? We can't leave. We truly can't leave this place. It's locked. Okay, let's come up here. Unlock it. Alright, now we can go to port. It may have been me who uh, locked the gate. But yeah, like... Can I take the ship? I guess I can't. Can we buy a new ship? I think we can buy a new ship at Nekataka, but I think that's it. Yeah. So what now? We got some information about Seraphin's uh, old fling, and that's it. <laughs> Plus, killed some pirates. One or two pirates. A few guys dead, but for dead light. Bit of a bummer. <laughs> so we might check out uh, Nakataka on the way. Maybe we can buy a better ship. I suppose it would make it too easy if you could actually uh, take over ships. But it would make us it would make sense, so I don't like this defiant is gonna stay with us forever. Because obviously we have the option to buy ships and replace it. I guess I need to keep exploring. Some dead fire merchants. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, we can take them down. What's their level? Can we run away? They are level 11. And I'm on level 10. Close board, no quarter. Let's go. I probably should have leveled up the characters. I was hesitant to do so. Not sure why. Let's try, let's try to fight without it. I think it could be possible. Should be possible, actually. So, how many guys are there? We have to fight with... 15? 15? 20? Is it gonna be another uh, 9v 20? Let's see. 5, 5. It's like 16 uh, versus 7. 8 if you count the bird. <laughs> oh no! Gonna be closer than I thought. Don't spend a lot of time on moving around. Oh boy. That disengagement sucks. Let's do a heal. Maybe not go with double speed. Okay, we seem to be making progress. Wait, are you storing a fallen? Or the bird? That's pretty dumb. That's very thoughtful, sorry. But also very dumb as well. I, I said do something else. Do that. Oh, 
All right, you're buffed. Yeah, these guys have no chance. I'm still doing it, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, resurrecting people all to uh, written into the AI. Principal Sailor? So many charms. Algina. Yeah. This guy's dead. <laughs> we can't loot them. Exceptional gear. Yeah, we're gonna take that. All of it. The crew hates us anyway. They're always sad because they're working injured and... Uh... Well, that's basically it. But they don't get special treatment. <gasps> you received an important missive from Captain Ferrante. Read it. Dear Watcher, I find myself in need of someone with particular brand of talents. As our last business transaction went so grandly, I appreciate the opportunity to hire you again. If you're interested, please convene with me in Dunnage to our fortunate proceedings, Captain Ferrante. Why do I want to destroy the letter? No. We're gonna keep it. For now, wait a second. What's up with my... Other supplies. Do I need to check out the ship supplies? That's not food. Okay, ship. Repair. Where are the tools? I don't see it. Cannons, flags, hull? No. Sails. Food and drink. I don't think it includes that. But seems like we are running out of tools again. And I just stocked up very recently. We are running out of medicine as well? What the hell, crew? They are all injured, except Baudul. Injured for 21 days? 32 days! 13 days? 41 days! 38 days. Damn. Well. They may be injured, but they... Keep doing their job? I can respect that. What else can I do? I have medical supplies. Abandoned village. Can we just check it out? Let's search. Yeah. Pretty small area. Damn. Sail health. Maybe I should have made friends with the pirates. They clearly know how to repair the ship. Uh, how to deal with battle damage. Why can't I take over ships? Or just scavenge like their perfectly good sail. And just perfectly good ship after a fight. Because I don't shoot at them. I just uh, sail up to them and uh, kill them all. Dunnage. Interesting. Arterio the Avenger. Is that so? So we kind of explored most that we can. Well, we kind of explored everything here, right? Yes. We we haven't killed everybody yet. But let's just check out Dunnage. Maybe there's a port here. I'm thinking there may be a port here. And we can use that. 
Also, it seems like the main character mostly needs uh, insight uh, and conversation skills. Those are the, the ones that are checked most commonly. Insight, perhaps the most. Dunnage, late summer. I hear you. That can't Did be you, catch I think. Did you by the peg leg performers yet? Udita? Awful. The green oh, pale elf. Send me for a butt slice of hard sack. It's, it's you, ain't it? Do I know you? The pale elf squints at you and puffs on her pipe. Acrid smoke from the bowl reads her phrase. Um, you have me at a disadvantage, sister. Wouldn't expect you to recognize me. Even back home, I covered a lot of ground before taking support here. The Watcher, captain of a mighty ship, god chaser, and fiend slayer. You're right. Must be expensive sustaining a reputation like that, eh? She rubs her fingers together. Yep, it's very expensive. I'll keep it quick, see? If your little dinghy has got some chase in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. And I'm in the market for a scuttler. She sticks the pipe in the side of her mouth and grins, showing a mouth uh, full of yellow teeth. You're offering me a bounty? Where do I start? You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk business, eh? She cracks her knuckles and grins. You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first, one of Rawatai's finest, eh? Um, I don't ask my client what he did or what scale his death balance is. Safer to keep questions in the hold. Don't think I've s sunk him yet. Hope that don't make you skittish, none. Loyalties being what they is. She clears her throat in to her fist and glances off to the distance. I'll measure where my loyalties lie, thank you. If our target is worth his salt, he'll send us down to Andra's realm anyway. Maya folds her arms and nods stiffly. Hands on his lips, Seraphine grins. Mark me! But the bird lass thinks she's true-born principe, she does. Udita doffs her hat to Maya. I'll take the bounty. Of course you will. Now's a good opportunity when you seize it. Cornu helms a voyager early muster in the waters north of Nekataka and south of Sayuka. Got it. Do you actually know me or just uh, want to give me a bounty? Seems like it's the latter. What? Is this the entire place? Neglected pig? We can't have that. Barquami? A large Almana sailor sits on the docks, broad shoulders hunched forward, back bowed. When he shifts his blue green skin, ripples over his uh, hawking muscles. Ain't no cruel eye of me. What good's a pirate who can't see? Forget navigating by the stars or shooting a pistol, I can't even swing a sword accurately now. Have a pity and toss me a pyre, will you? What's your story? Is this what my life boils down to? A moment of entertainment for others? He sighs heavily, big shoulders hunched. I was a bosun not so long ago, and a damn good one at that. But I took a shot to the face, see? He waves one massive hand in front of his sightless eyes. Didn't lose much skin, but the flash burned out me eyesight. I can't make out so much as a blurry shape more than a foot away. Makes me right useless on a crew now, don't it? No one will have me for work. Alright. Five copper, here you go. Andra's blessings to you for sharing, sailor. Farewell. Carlo Fortuni. K. Polzatz? Polzak? A trim man in practical, well crafted leather uh, letters watches you from the corner of his eyes. When he catches you looking his way, his hand, his hand drifts casually to the dagger at his hip and lingers for a moment. Then he smiles, the corners of his hazel eyes crinkling with genuine warmth and waves you over. A cozy traveler. Care to hear a tale? He rubs thoughtfully at the stubble along his jaw. Well? 
All right. I was born to a family of merchants on the Pearl Coast. I was a restless boy, and my feet took me to the Valen Republics when I came of age. As Carlos speaks, his previously strong Valian accent begins to fall away, and his voice takes on the characteristic, characteristic twang of the deerwood. I learned of the power of geography and language at my father's knee, and those skills proved useful in the Republics. I had many successful years as a merchant, and then I made a mistake. What was that mistake? He gives you a small smile and an easy shrug of his shoulders. I joined up with a company based in Girara that traded in beautiful weavings. But they were ill-gotten gains, forcibly produced by a weaver the company kidnapped named Boniceta. I didn't learn the truth until it was too late. And when our crime was uncovered, I was exiled from the Republics. Well, that's a shame. Indeed. But I should have asked better questions of my employers. And now I'm here, kicking my heels in the dead fire, where no one knows my name and with few prospects before me. I would like to make amends to Boniceta personally, but it seems a distant possibility. Ah, oh, well... I learned my lesson. I won't be played for a fool. Can you teach me what you learned in the Valian Republics? Ark, you listen to my tale. I suppose I can do that for you for... Uh, uh, let's do 3, it. thousand copper. Well done. He shows you a trick for lifting a man's coin purse from his belt. Between demonstrations, he also gives you tips for negotiating with even the most hard-headed of merchants. You thank him and turn away. Just as you're about to leave, he tosses a coin purse to you with a laugh. What? <laughs> you nearly forgot something. Oh, mine. The coin purse he tossed you is your own. I learned Carlos training. Okay. You find a woman of early middle years dressed fine, if dirty. Armor adorned with bright purple piping. A pair of long scars bisect her brow and jaw. Though she stands at ease, a nervous energy drums uh, through her. Fair day, traveler. She grins broadly, a joyful twinkle lighting her eyes. Anything I can do for you, just say the word. Tell me about yourself. Lady adventurer at your humble service. I was born in a deer and raised in the field, and there's nary a crevice of this archipelago I haven't seen. The field? Ah, the living lands most off, but the dead fire as well of late. And my goodness, if you think the dead fire's wild, I must say, it's no more thrilling than a lady of luxury's afternoon luncheon in comparison to the glorious madness of the living lands. Being a cipher's come in quite handy, I'll tell you that. Do you often get into trouble, then? Oh, dear me, yes. Can't seem to avoid it. Not a lick of it's my fault, of course. It's the university. Always sending me to the most dangerous corners of Aeora, the skimps. If I didn't know better, I might say they were trying to kill me. <laughs> There's not other way to rid themselves of a tenured professor, after all. Get any good stories out of it, at least? Oh, aye, aye. Some you wouldn't right believe. Like the time I lost part of my ear here, see? She pulls back her hair and shows you her mangled ear. It looks like something had a good chew on it. Lost an entire research team along with the ear. Rather a long day, that was. My colleagues have implied I might be cursed, but I can't say I much agree. It's just the nature of the work, you understand. I mean, goodness, if you want a lady to find you the rarest plants, you gotta send her to the most remote places. On my last expedition, my colleague Ennis got herself lost looking for what was essentially a big prickly weed. No medicinal use at all. I found her though, mostly intact even. A blessing from the living lands, I call it, aye. But I do go on, don't I? Could you teach me what you learned in your time exploring the living lands? With pleasure. Teaching is my specialty after all. I'm gonna pack your brain with so much knowledge you're gonna have a headache for a week. Stealth and All metaphysics. Is 3, copper. 
Okay, let's do Excellent. it. Let's get down to business, shall we? She starts first with the practical training, how to move silently through but through bush when uh, and how best to hide, how to step as so as to muffle the sounds of your feet. Satisfied, she moves on to a high-level explanation of various theories of knowledge. She seems to have uh, quite a passion for <sighs> epistemology and goes on for an excruciatingly long time before at least sending you on your way. At last, sending you on your way. I learned case training. Sending a lot, of, spending a lot of money on these ones. But it's pretty unlikely I'm gonna come back. Seems like it's a small place. Maybe I'm wrong. This is just the dock, and we need to getting closer. Oh, that's right. King's coffin. What is that? Radiant court. I don't know where to start. That sounds like a tavern. Tavern is the best place to start. Every adventure knows that. <laughs> also, we might need to get some uh, tools again. Maneha. King's Coffin. Um, taverns of sort, as uh, suspected. Maneha? Is that you? What's it been? Five years? Life's been good. I keep on my feet Kill and him. never Wait stay in one place too long. Gold teeth. Easy as pie. You're an idiot. Wait a minute, wait an hour. Alive, dead. It makes no difference at all. I pulled plenty of gold teeth. I know the right way of it. Maybe I'll pull your teeth just to prove you wrong. Whoa. What do you know? It really does make no difference. <laughs> you out. What the hell? Ah, uh, quite the character. Wait. Can't act. The tongue be a right sharper weapon than a pistol. But a pistol. In a pinch. I can easy to convince people. But oh what is this? Cabin boy? Oh I kinda suspect what's going on there. Jacob Harker. What kind of place are you running here? At the bar you find a tall man with salt grey hair and strikingly bright blue eyes. His face sports a handful of long scars that continue down, uh, down his neck and disappear beneath the collar of his shirt. He looks up from wiping uh, down the counter when you approach and gives you a broad, disarming smile. Haven't seen you around before. Welcome to the King's Coffee. His smile is wide enough to show his bright white teeth, but his light eyes remain cold and flinty. What can I do for you? Your tavern looks like uh, an old ship. Figured that out all on your own, did you? Yeah, I'm very smart. You're right, though. Inherited an old Dow from my da when he passed. Right piece of shit it was, too. Realized I was bound to make more coin turning her into a tavern than letting her rot in her berth. I want to buy something. What do you want? What the... You got any sailors? So long as you don't mind. Drunkard, greedy professional. We have enough guys. Wait, this one is good. It only costs one hundred. An ex expert, seasoned, novice navigator, landret. Do I care? Fearless impulsive. What um, can I 
do Jacob. What do you want? Show me so what you got. You wow, we have to pay more. Oh, we can't buy repair thingies here. Rooms, what kind of rooms you got? The very expensive ones, apparently. Damn. New crew members. Cancel. I don't care about adventures. Also, we can only buy lower level adventures, apparently. But yeah, I don't want adventures, obviously. Maneha. Tierna. If you're enjoying my performance, tips are welcome but not required. Thank you, loyal patron. Oh, very enthusiastic. Voice monotone. The wizard examines her nails as she speaks. A hand on her hip, she cocks her head as she waits for you to speak. <laughs> One copper. How did you end up among these pirates? I was playing dice and gambled on a sure thing. <laughs> It turned out not to be such a sure thing, and now Harker owns my arse until I can pay off the debt. <gasps> of course, I started off owing him 250, and even though I've paid that twice, now I'm in the hole for 700. The interest rate, this uniform, my food and drinks, they all got added onto my tab at the end of the day. It doesn't look like you're enjoying yourself. I work for a handful of pyres per day. How could I find enjoyment in that? Sounds like slavery to me. There you go, one copper. Oh, thank you, patron. I'll be debt free in no time. Despite her words, she doesn't actually sound appreciative. In fact, she rolls her eyes as she tucks the coin into her pocket. Damn. She's giving up hope. Maybe we can talk on behalf uh, talk on her behalf with the bartender. You find a lanky blonde elf flipping through a book of Adernian. Uh, poetry by the artist Skelba. His armor is well worn and well kept, and bears on its breast the image of a double headed uh, eagle holding a sword and crown. Looking more closely, you notice that with his free hand, he's picking a padlock. Hello. May I help you? He catches you looking and gives you a shy smile. Need anything? Who are you? I'm not sure what there is to tell. I'm a man of adventure, mostly. Have you had any uh, that would make a good story? A few. More than I could share in a night, to be sure. There is one that's close to my heart. It led me to my love. Go on. He nods pleased. I was on an expedition into the backwoods of Red Seras. When I came across an abandoned town, to my great surprise, I found a tremendous hoard of books in the town priest's cottage. What's surprising about that? The Red Serans are conservative folk, more so even than the Adherans. They don't have much use for reading that doesn't come from one of the holy texts of the Church of Aethus. And what a selection of books it was. Every subject represented, even some questionable ones. I couldn't help but help myself to them. I took as many as I could carry, and I can carry quite a bit. Read them all cover to cover and learned a lot too. I tired soon of wandering, so I settled in a small town in the Deerwood and became a tutor for a noble family. Fell in love with the governess, naturally, and I stayed for a while. I felt a stirring in my bones one day. I can't explain it. I just woke up caught sight of the horizon, and had to go. I left my lady wife right there in our marital bed. He sighs deeply, a look of longing flits across his face, but he stifles it with a quick frown. I don't know what's waiting for me out here in the dead fire, but I have hope this will be my biggest adventure yet. Can you teach me what you've learned in your travels? Is it that not being a dumbass and... Oh my, I'm curious what you're gonna say. Well, you listen to my long tail, I suppose you are owed a trick or two. For the low price of 3,000 copper, 
explosive and mechanics, I actually don't care. Those are both active skills. I don't care. I don't think so. Love it your way then. Poor Toerna. Oh, God have mercy on me. Pietro! Hunched on his hands and knees, quivering and drenched in sweat, the pirate lets out a pain filled groan. Lost my God's damn soul in stupidity! Aldred, save me now! What's wrong with you? My ship was attacked and boarded by pirate hunters. Didn't know if we'd be able to get away, so I swallowed down my most valuable possession. Gutty's black tear. A gemstone, about the size of my fist. Yeah, you're dead. Of course now, it ain't coming out of either end. Been trying all manner of foul concoctions to no effect on account of my stomach being too strong. Years of sailing the storm wrecked seas will do that to you. I started feeling an intense pain two days ago. I think... I think I might be dying. I can't even crawl no more. What if I punch you... You really hard in the stomach. That might get it out. I think I ain't tried that. <laughs> My stomach's all black and bruised, but a blasty gem still stuck at me. If I help you get it out, I want the gem. You can take it. What I used to think was a blessed treasure has become my curse. Any price is worth getting it out of me. Rosanella's got a stand in a radiant court. She's been supplying me with some um, experimental concoctions, tweaking them after. Tell her the last one actually came close to working. All right, speak to Rosanella. Noted. Uh, can we talk to you on behalf of your dancer? What can I do for you? Seems like no. That's a bummer. My my, aren't you a pretty one? I don't know. <laughs> You're a pretty one yourself, <laughs> right? An older woman looks you up and down and smiles, revealing several gold teeth. Did you need help with something? What do you dear? do here? Isn't it obvious? I entertain, of course. <laughs> she does a little shimmy and breaks up with a laugh. It'll cost you 50 pies, naturally. And don't let the wrinkles fool you. I'm still young at heart. And I've got more experience than most. <laughs> Alright. I'm back. Well, thanks for the offer. My thing is, if she was like a... Like, this is this is a very interesting thing that... Uh, if, if someone, like, very attractive pulls this, like... Like, totally amazing. But if someone you personally don't find attractive pulls this, then it's like, they are, they are being, uh... They're bugging you, they're annoying, perhaps... Perhaps worse, you would call that. I don't know. Uh, 50 copper, that's again a reasonable price. I also went to a uppity place where they were like... Uh, I don't know, they wanted to read me po poetry. For like 150 and that that was the best offer they had anyway farewell thanks but no thanks i think i'm gonna go with cabin boy what do we have here a young man dressed in skin tight letters gives you a quick once over he must like what he sees because he smiles wide his lips just parted how can i ease your trouble what do you do here I surprise and delight the clientele. Oh, that's that's right. My specialty is oils. Full body rubdowns, right? Fit to leave you limber, clear headed, and free of the stresses of hard living. I have to say the old woman had a a better sell. <laughs> Kevin boy. I got other skills, of course. What? Should you be looking. 
And all for a measly 200 piles. Are you kidding me? You should charge less than the old woman. Fire of all, cabin boy. Unbelievable. I'm tempted to take up the old woman on the offer, but I don't think so. I'm trying to score with Soti or Maya. I suppose. And it doesn't seem to be that interested or Seraphim. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.